All right, SSL Family Dad with Simple Sustainable Living. And uh, it's been a while. I know a lot of people have been waiting for kind of a tour of our new property. You can see the busy road behind us. I'll talk about that here in a minute. And uh, so we've moved from the subdivision, from a tiny half an acre, three quarters of an acre lot, um, out to this 25 acre uh, parcel, kind of in the middle of nowhere. A uh, little village uh, that doesn't have anything in it, uh, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Not too far from where we used to live, about a half an hour away. Um, this has kind of been our dream to uh, have more property and be able to grow more of our own food and, and really kind of do an actual farm. And so uh, I'll take you guys through. This video might be a little bit longer. I want to kind of go through everything that we have here because you're going to see a whole lot of changes over the next few years and a whole lot of additions. And I, I want you guys to have a place to start. So you can see everything of what we have here, what we've started with and what we're, what we're going to go towards. Um, there's a lot of things that need a lot of work here. Don't think we bought some kind of new fancy place. Definitely wasn't. Uh, we traded way down from our uh, house that we had into this house uh, to get the property. So um, it was, there was definitely some trade-offs to do there. But uh, let me start you off here. Um, we are on a main road here, as you can see, paved road. Um, this is actually kind of a, a, a shortcut from some of the nearby cities where people will take this road out to the expressway. And uh, so there's like three or four cities that people will, will come through this kind of a short back road uh, country shortcut. So this is a very busy road. Um, to us, that's actually a really good thing. We uh, plan on farming and selling produce and things like that here. And so uh, we actually are uh, gonna be able to utilize the, the traffic here. Um, so we've got some, some grand plans for you know Christmas trees and pumpkins and beef and eggs and selling all kinds of vegetables and stuff like that. So, uh, but beautiful oak trees. And this is very common in Michigan. Uh, the, the, a lot of the roads are lined with a lot of maples and oaks. And so we've got several oak trees here, uh, real big, beautiful. I love, I love these, these oak trees. But moving in, you'll see we've only been here a few weeks and we've already got goats. The SSL family mom, she's been wanting goats. Part of the reason why we, we moved in the first place was these little guys. So I'm gonna do a separate video on them and why we got them. But we've got this pasture already set up with a little lean-to out there. Um, coming into the house, there's a circle driveway. So there's an entrance to the driveway over here and right where, uh, where I'm standing now. Um, our property is very narrow up by the road and then it widens out in the back and so these pastures are all set up they do need some work uh, i'll be doing a lot of videos on fencing and stuff like that as i get more adept at it but you can see like there's some posts that are rotted out of the ground they just weren't weren't really put in correctly and um, a lot of other things that need to be fixed these things goats and the beehive, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the beehive back here. We already did a video on moving this. And there's some ground bee nests back here. I'm trying to avoid, uh, but the bees are doing great. Uh, I see them coming in and out with pollen and I haven't looked in the hive yet, but that, that will be soon. So um, detached garage here and uh, it's a nice little garage only, you know, it's built kind of like a pole barn, nothing too spectacular. Um, I won't go too much into the house right now. It's a smaller home. Uh, it's got a two-story addition here. It's like a tri-level and then half the house is on a slab. Um, little garden shed up there that's half falling apart, needs a little bit of work. And so coming over here, I've already started in on some tree removal. Got a dead tree here. I'm going to do some upcoming videos on that too. I've got lots of, <laughs> I'll show you why, but we've got lots of uh, a need for wood here. Um, and it's actually kind of neat. Right up here by the road, this is the other driveway, there's a, a road. And I'll, we'll walk down this here. I'll skip out some of this, but a little dry, extra driveway here. This goes to the back of the, uh, back of the yard. It just kind of comes around the side of the house here. Okay, so propane out here, which we will not need to use. I'll tell you a little more about that. Um, just coming around the back of the house here, the side of the house. Um, all of our boxes from moving piled out here ready to burn, so it looks like a, a mess. But 
Uh, moving is a mess. Um, backup generator back there, that's a little Generac, uh, I think it's a 10,000 watt or 8,000 watt generator. Um, that's wired into the home and it runs off this propane, this uh, big propane tank. So if we ever have a power outage out here, that kicks on automatically and runs some circuits in the home. That was already here. That was kind of one of the selling points, I think, for me. Um, so nice little yard here to the side of the house. And the backyard here, this is kind of the back uh, backyard. So another kind of uh, falling down little shed. I'm going to try to rehabilitate. Um, this will be my wood cutting shed and area. I'm going to keep all my wood related uh, tools and uh, some kindling and fire starting equipment and probably some wood in there. I'm going to build a lean to off the side of it for wood because we have this outdoor wood burner. Um, which has been running now for the last two weeks. Um, and what an amazing, what an amazing thing. Um, I will do a separate video on this specifically, how it works, why it's so awesome, and what it kind of takes to run it. And, uh, but man, heats all of our hot water and uh, all of our heat for the house. Works great. Um, I'll, again, talk about that more later. And we've got the little suburban chicken coop back here, which this will kind of, be morphed into out here on the farm we'll use this as kind of like a breeding coop or uh, maybe to raise some chicks or um, separate you know sick chickens and stuff like that so we're still going to use this here uh, definitely you know don't plan on getting rid of that um, i may take the run off of it and build a little uh, bigger area for the chickens and take the run and turn that into a, like a rabbitry or something but um, i've got the barn back here we'll go in there real quick um, just off to the side of the house here, that same pasture that the goats were, were in. This is just a real big pasture. So this is where the property kind of opens up. And you can see the goats were way up there, up front. They just want to follow you around. And this, this all comes back and then it goes way out. That's all of our property, all way out past uh, through all those trees. And there's actually another field on the other side that's ours too. Um, this is all fenced in, but it needs a lot of work. Some of the fencing is down and um, a lot of cleanup needs to be doing, done in here. Um, this pasture will probably be used for, uh, we have a, a pasture a pig that we're gonna get that will go in here. And I'm also gonna separate off another pasture for breeding goats uh, as well, so. Um, lots of acreage in here though for, uh, for animals. So there's the old, the old travel trailer. So the barn itself, oh, and the backyard is filled with these, there's maple trees. There's one, two, uh, three, four, five. And I think there's another one over there, another one over by the uh, road coming in. So we'll be doing some maple syrup just out of our backyard and uh, there's a whole nother stand of maple trees uh, out in the back as well. So big pole barn, um, not, not built exactly the way that I would have built it. Um, again, everything needs, needs work. Uh, there's a fencing here, a little paddock off the side of the barn that's falling apart and some fences down and stuff. This, they had horses in here. Uh, we do not plan on getting horses. I think their horses to me are kind of a waste unless they're gonna, I'm gonna ride them around or something or they're gonna pull something. But um, these stalls, no doors on them, but they, they go into little stalls in the barn here. Um, so I'll take you inside the barn, which I have this door shut because it's been raining for the last two weeks. I won't be playing too much basketball out here. Maybe on the grass. And this stuff was left by the previous homeowner, so we got some cleanup to do. So maybe turn that into like a little rabbit hutch or something. So this side of the barn is open. Um, this opens up just to really nothing. Uh, looks like they had some animals in here and they left some junk and stuff we'll have to get rid of. Some siding and other junk. Um, this will be like a little tack room. I will, I'm going to wall this off and this will be um, heated and I'll keep things stuff feed and other things in here um, a lot of this is our junk a lot of this is stuff that they left we've just been kind of throwing things in here moving is a pain but uh, so this will be uh, I'm gonna, I may do a rabbitry in this area and I got to clean all this out but we haven't decided exactly how we're going to utilize the barn yet here's some of those stalls 
And some of the stuff they left behind obviously will be useful. Uh, we'll find uses for. This looks like just a little storage bin for straw. And they had hay all over here. And this is the aquaponic system and a rabbit cage we have. The aquaponic system is in pieces. In fact, we're using that as a ladder. <laughs> That's the uh, frame of the aquaponic system to get up on the top. The kids have already claimed that as their little fort, so that's fine. But uh, this is where they had stacked hay. And there's some pallets under here to keep the hay off the ground. But this was all, I'm assuming, you know, just filled in with hay for their horses. Um, and this is some of our uh, things here I'm going to build stuff with. Junk. Um, some more stalls. This one here doesn't really have, this is, I don't really know what this would be used for, but they didn't really clean these out very well, so we have a lot of cleaning to do. And then here's another, another little stall that op opens into that little paddock next to the barn. Um, needs to be cleaned up. And then barn door fell off, looks like. So that needs to be fixed. And I'd like to get, get on that quickly here. So I'm doing videos on all this stuff. I'm gonna do a lot of uh, a lot of these repairs on video for you guys to kind of follow along. But this is the back of the property. Now, this is all hay field. It's been planted. Um, they baled hay uh, this year. There's actually it needs to be cut, but I don't have the equipment. Obviously, coming from a subdivision, the equipment I have is I have a lawn tractor. So uh, and I don't have an unlimited supply of money. Moving is expensive and things. So we probably won't get to cut this this year but I, I plan on getting some equipment throughout the winter and spring and I hope to cut this myself, bale hay. Some of this we may turn into pasture, maybe we do sheep, uh, maybe we plant Christmas trees, maybe we do a big, like a, an orchard, maybe we, you know, if there's unlimited things we could do. This is the back half of the pastures here. It goes all the way down, down there. This is all our property. And there's about six or seven acres of hardwoods and softwoods mixed in here, all deciduous, a few pines, a few evergreens in there, but, and uh, let's take you to the back real quick. And we'll be riding in the deluxe farm tractor today. So the back edge of our property back there where the trees are basically that cuts all the way out through and there's a big swamp in the back um, southwest corner of the property and this is all wet through here and out to the back corner but there's all this is forested um, and there's some pines that have been planted in here if you look from the google earth the satellite imagery you can see that there's just a tiny little stands of pine trees in here you know maybe 20 trees and that's it but the rest of it is all kinds of different uh, various tree types there's ash in here there's lots of maple trees in fact I'll show you one of the coolest parts of this forest uh, on the other side of the uh, the field here but uh, perfect for deer hunting something I don't know a whole lot about but I plan on getting uh, getting into since we have the property here it's a great source of meat for uh, for the family so So this is another uh, kind of favorite part of the property. It's uh, along the edge of our of the forest here. Um, 
And this is actually right where a good friend of ours uh, just got two deer. Uh, shot two deer the other day. And you can see them just, uh, the tracks are coming through here real heavy. But this is one of my favorite parts of, of the property. Um, it's a very established maple forest. Almost every single one of these trees in here are maples. Um, unfortunately, our property line kind of runs right through here and then straight back. So these are not ours. Um, I may ask the farmer permission to tap those for syrup, but these are all ours, um, all through here. And you can see way back into the woods back there, uh, there's a lot of maples, real good size, real good size maples in here. So a lot of syrup production um, is definitely possible. Um, I don't know, I've, I've not been into the forest. I mean, I, this forest goes all the through there. I, I don't even know what's in there. I don't know what kind of trees we have. Um, obviously, I'm using that wood burner, so I'm going to be harvesting, selectively cutting out trees that are older, dead, dying, or um, already down from storms and stuff like that. So uh, it looks like somebody has already come through and, and cut some trees out of here. But beautiful uh, little forest through here. This might be a good spot for the kids to have a tree fort or something, I don't know. So that is pretty much it. That's kind of the, uh, I know it's a longer video, but kind of the brief overview of the, uh, of the farm or the new property. Um, we, are, we are super excited. Maybe I played too many hours of, uh, of sim farm as a kid, but uh, this has been my dream and I know my wife's as well. Um, the kids love it out here. There are just so many opportunities for us to do the things we really want to do and uh you know this this property is really perfect for us so um hopefully you guys enjoyed that hopefully you guys i know um get a good idea of what we have to work with here uh our channel is gonna just explode with with videos uh, i know that i've been late on videos lately but uh, there are just so many things to do uh, as we get settled in here uh, projects are just going to start rolling out um, I've got, a, got lots of plans for inside stuff, for home repairs, a lot of um, gardening stuff, a whole new chicken coop that I'm working on designing right now, um, a whole sustainable system of farming, a whole sustainable system of livestock, a whole sustainable system of uh, um, living in general. Um, you know, eventually we'd like to be totally off the grid, but uh, you know, this is, this is a start. So um, I will give you guys updates on uh, the chickens and the goats and other stuff as well. Um, but man, we have so many things to, to do. So lots of excitement, guys. I hope you guys are excited too. Um, please throw comments down below. If you have questions about things I, I, I left out or maybe that you're wondering about, um, I'd love to, to get those questions because that gives me ideas on what to do videos on too. So uh, please throw those at me when you get a chance. Hit thumbs up, guys, if you get a chance. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. surely like it out here don't they they have 25 acres to roam get out of our landscaping do you have anywhere else to go especially you bloody mary <laughs>